Welcome everyone. It would not be 2020 without a little bit of technical difficulty to, uh, to get us going. So welcome to the 2020 installation ceremony for the Tucson Association of Realtors and the Tucson Realtors Charitable Foundation. Following CDC guidelines, as we're supposed to do this year, um, and I think we will be doing for a while going forward, is going to be a small intimate gathering. Uh, the, it's hard to see everybody here, but they are all socially distanced. Everybody's in a mask. We're all doing the right things. Um, who would have imagined this really would have been the year we were looking at here? I'd like to first start off by thanking our affiliate sponsors, Chase Mortgage, Fairway Mortgage, and Pioneer Title. They have helped us over the course of many years, but in particular this last year, they've enabled us to to change some of our events around um, and pivot, to use the much overused word, uh, but to really continue to provide the services to our members that we needed to. I'd like to begin tonight, yes, thank you very much, join a round of, round of uh, applause. We're doing tonight via Facebook Live, and again, my apologies for being a little bit late, but uh, I think that is, is par for the course in 2020. Um, we promise this will actually be one of the fastest installations we've ever done. Um, so let's start by standing and do the Pledge of Allegiance. Please join me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, everyone. So I want to begin by a quick recap of 2020. First of all, I almost forgot how to tie a tie. I haven't been in a suit since um, probably February 28th. Um, I made the joke earlier that I'm not sure I've been in pants since that point in time, but I'm not sure that's a really good thing. Who would have known that this would have been our fashion choice for 2020? Who would have known that we would never have left home without this? If you have young kids, you know you bring these things with you, but um, who would have known this would have been everywhere that we, we uh, get together? And I think it was our president this year, Billy Mordka, who said at one point, this is like halftime, and we're gonna get a chance to reset, and everybody gets the chance to reset, and we move forward. Well, Billy, I'm ready for this reset to be over. <laughs> let's, uh, let's see what's next. This is the longest halftime we've ever been in. We've pivoted, we've pivoted again, and then I think we've pivoted at least one or two more times, but through it all, your association, your MLS of Southern Arizona, and your charitable foundation are as strong as ever. Our advocacy efforts this year talked about flood insurance when we had fires, we cared for tenants while supporting the property managers who were dealing with eviction notices. We instituted a coming soon status when properties barely stay on the market for 24 hours. Overnight, we shifted our education and all of us learned to Zoom, which almost nobody had heard of in February of 2020. We led some efforts to study the housing in Tucson in the urban core, downtown and surrounding, only be, to be challenged with what does a walkable downtown look like in this day and age. We had an ungolf event in a virtual run that raised more money than we would have ever raised in person. Yeah, it was pretty amazing. The staff who is used to walking into this building since, boy, whenever we purchased it in the buildings before, quickly learned to adapt to remote working. Our committee meetings, who we all had people walk in this building and the energy and the dynamic that happened uh, in this building went away like that, but we all learned to Zoom. We all learned to be more professional in those. We've all seen our friends have birds and dogs and kids and anything else uh, walk behind us over the course of the year. But through it all, I can think of no better year to have had all of this happen. 
And why is that? Because if you're not aware, 2020 was our 99th year as an association. It's quite a remarkable state for our association to be in, 99 years, 99 leaders that have led this organization over the years, um, 99 committees. I mean, what, what has happened, and I use, a, I use a phrase often, everywhere we look, caring hands precede us. And I think there is no better, no better way to look at 2020 and think about the caring hands that got us to where we are today and the caring hands that were here in 2020 to carry us forward. The leaders of Billy Mordka, uh, wow. <laughs> the things that you and I got to talk about <laughs> over the course of this year that we had no idea we expected. Sue Carton of the MLS. Uh, I, Sue has been involved for many, many years. Many of you know Sue uh, and her leadership over the course of what we dealt with with the MLS, how we quickly pivoted for virtual open houses, all the things that we went through. Steve Redman leading the Charitable Foundation and being the one that said, it's okay, let's, let's pivot, let's do this, and being aggressive to say, let's keep moving forward. It was quite the year. So I've used that word pivot a lot. Everybody has. We've heard it an awful lot, but I do really think that was something that this year signified. How do we think we're going on this path? And we quickly turn and we went another. But through it all, uh, those three entities that are housed in this building the, on Tucson Boulevard really came together to make it the best and continue to provide services for our members, our participants, our subscribers, everybody associated with us. So I'm really pleased across the board. I hope you'll join us next year. A hundred years. It's hard to believe, a hundred years. You're going to hear a lot about what we're doing over the course of the year. Uh, we will kick it off and of course you usually think of something like that being a big celebration. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, we can just hope that that's going to be there. But in some frame we will celebrate what has transpired over the last 20, 100 years. We'll celebrate those people who made this organization what it is. And as important as celebrating the past, we will kick off the next 100 years. And I think that's a pretty significant statement for this organization and the prominence and the influence we have in the Tucson, Southern Arizona market. So really pleased with all of that. Thank you all for that. It's been quite the year. I could go on with how each staff member has worked, how each board member has worked. Uh, but it's just to say thank you to everybody for what they did uh, to come together as a team, to come together as family. Even though we couldn't hug, even though we all learned to elbow everybody to say hi, we came together as family to, uh, to make it work and to support each other over the course of the year. So thank you very much for that. And thank you to the past leaders who did that. We'll get right into the installation. Uh, we'd like to begin with the Charitable Foundation Board. Uh, we're only installing those tonight because of social distancing and the number of people we can have in a room. We're only installing those tonight that haven't been installed previously. Uh, so we do not have our full board here. If you've not seen our new website, I encourage you to go on and look at our website. Our board members are all listed there. Uh, the new website looks great. A new logo looks great. A lot of, a lot of super things happening. Again, as I say, we move into the future. So, um, as I call your name, please come to the stage. Um, Jessica Alvarez is not here this evening with title security. Um, and Edwina, please come to the stage as well with Terry Antigua. <laughs> and we're going to be socially distanced here, but I will go ahead and uh, do that. So. You're entering into a commitment to serve your peers, your fellow members, your association, your charitable foundation, and your community. By accepting the position to which you are uh, elected to, or appointed to be on this board, the Charitable Foundation Board, uh, you've been identified as someone dedicated to the best interest of that organization. 
Now, if you'll raise your right hand, I will administer the oath of office. Yeah, your right hand, that was my left <laughs> hand. Sorry about that. Do you solemnly swear and promise that you will administer the oath of office to which you have been elected to the best of your ability and judgment in conformity with the bylaws and constitution of the charitable foundation? Of course. I congratulate you for this and we welcome you into the family of our charitable foundation. I know you've been actively involved over the course of this last year, so I think you missed last year's <laughs> induction, but we're really pleased to have you aboard. Thank, Thank you very you. much. At this time, I'd like to bring up Billy Mordka, and Denise King has requested that you install her to the charitable foundation board. So uh, thank you, Denise, for asking me to install you. Um, I'm lucky enough that when I started in this business, uh, one of the first people I met was Steve and Denise. And um, the first thing you get is that they are no nonsense, 100% loyal and 100% truthful, and they are just great people. And I can't think of anyone better to um, lead this charitable foundation than Denise. If you guys know um, their family at all, they have a wonderful uh, son and daughter, and they started an amazing organization called Team Hoyt. And if you know anything about it, they are constantly servant leaders, and they constantly give of themselves, and they are just magnificent people, and I'm looking so forward to having you as the president of the Charitable Foundation to help others give back to the community. Yeah, Billy, are you do I think you're doing the oath of office, correct? All right. Right there. There we go. Mm -hmm. Do you solemnly swear to administer the office of president of the Tucson Association of Realtors Charitable Foundation to the best of your ability in conformity with the bylaws and policy of the board? to represent the best interests of Arizona real estate community and the members of the association, and to be governed by the principles of honesty, ethics, justice, fairness, and integrity. If you so subscribe, please say, I do. I do. By the authority conferred upon me, I declare you duly installed as the 2021 president of the TRCF. Um, yo, you come up, yes. We are learning along the way here. Absolutely, you're going to walk up, yeah. <laughs> Except 24 years ago, I didn't need readers. So. <laughs> Charity is the act of extending love and kindness to others unconditionally. It is a one-way act where a person gives but asks for nothing in return. That alone makes it precious and soulful. Charity starts with those who learn to downplay their own problems in order to extend compassion, kindness, and love to others. Inequality has existed in one way or another since the dawn of time, and there will always be rich and poor, strong and weak living together. While poverty is extreme and widespread, let's not forget just how, ma how many rich and wealthy people there are in the developed world capable of giving. It's high time we realize the power, we have it in our hands to be pulled together. You don't have to be a millionaire to make a significant difference. Just as every drop in the ocean counts to form a vast water mass, even small donations have the potential to drastically improve an individual's quality of life. The $20 that we connected, collected from your dues may seem in, insignificant, but together we have accomplished so much for the Tucson community. This year, we have assisted our community with grants to the following organization, Our Family Services, St. Luke's Home, the Boys and Girls Club, Tucson Jewish Community Center, and Family Housing Resource. None of these would have been possible without your small donation. Additionally, we have dedicated our first quarter grants to what we felt was an urgent call, the Community Food Bank of Southern Arizona. 
We asked the Tucson Association and the Multiple Listing Service to match our $10,000 grant. They graciously did, and along with our, with our community charitable partners, Tierra Antigua Hope Foundation and Long Realty Cares, we donated $45,000 for immediate food distribution, all from your $20 donation. We did this in the midst of an ongoing pandemic. Can you imagine what we can do in 2021, pandemic or not? We have slated for four events for the Charitable Foundation, starting with a virtual bottle auction, a virtual spring run again, we're going to do a fall 5K, and our annual golf tournament. The last two I'm leaving virtual off the name because with good luck in science, we can start having in-person events again. All of these events have one main objective, to raise money for the greater Tucson community from our real estate community. Of course, I'm unable to leave this wonderful organization without the support I receive at home. Thank you to my husband, Steve, for always supporting me in everything I do. To my children, Lucas and Emerson, who dutifully go along to with all the crazy ideas and adventures we have in our family. Thank you to my family and friends. I know you always have my back. And thank you to the Tucson real estate community. I look forward to serving you and leading your charitable board in the upcoming year. Thank you, Denise. Thank you, Billy. Um, if you're not familiar with the work of the Charitable Foundation, you should be. They do some great work in the community, uh, and it is supported by those who, uh, each of us, each of us in this, uh, in this realtor world, in this realtor family. We'll new, move now to the Tucson Association of Realtors board members for 2021. Will these individuals please come forward? Jody Koch. She is your president-elect for 2021. <laughs> Catherine Wolfson, vice president. Jenny James, treasurer. And your affiliate director, Rhonda Argetta. <laughs> you can be appropriately social distanced up there. You can move closer. Okay. Oh, getting friendly now. There we go. Please turn and face me. You're entering into a commitment to serve your peers, those here, those on Facebook Live, those who are in the realtor family, your fellow members, your association, and your community. By accepting the position to which you were elected or appointed, you have been now identified as someone dedicated to the best interest of the public and the welfare of your members. Now, will each of you raise your right hand as I administer the oath? Do each of you solemnly promise and swear that you will administer the oath to which you have been elected to the best of your ability and judgment in conformity with the bylaws and the constitution of your association? If you subs subscribe to this, please say, I do. I do. Please lower your right hands. Congratu join me in congratulating the new officers and board members of, you may be seated. Now I'd like to invite Nikki Alley to the board, to the podium. Um, <laughs> Diane Marzoni, who is the 2021 president, has asked that you install her. Please join me up here. Okay. Well, I'm so honored, Diane, that you asked me to do this. Um, I met Diane early in the 2000s on the phone, and she continues to remind me that I was really snarky. <laughs> I think I was having one of those realtor days where you had too many phone calls, and anyway, so she reminded me of that. So I opened a real estate boutique office uh, in Oro Valley, and Diane hung her license with me in 2004. And I have to tell you that I was like so honored to have this beautiful and bright woman want to be a part of our group. So at Windermere Distinctive Homes and Land at the time, it was uh, pretty exciting to have such great talent. And Diane, when she would like walk in the office, she 
lit up the room. And I know you know what I'm talking about. The woman is amazing. And she's got this just charisma that's infectious and beautiful inside and out. Um, you always made me proud. You made me proud as an agent. You made me proud to be a mentor in the office and you really grew. So life changed as it always does. And I sold Windermere. And Diane went on to her new home at Coldwell Banker. She flourished in real estate. She also faced adversity, as we always do, uh, in some personal aspects of her life. But through adversity, we grow. And boy, did this powerhouse grow. I mean, this Goliath right here, um, she tapped into her Herculean strength. You know, and her strength that I see, it was a just a strong, independent woman with a voice. You kind of like, hear me. I mean, hear me now because I, I know this stuff and I'm good at this. And, and she is. And look at her now. She's president. So she's a savvy businesswoman. Uh, she told me that uh, during this time of adversity that she felt like she lost her sparkle. And I'm like, girl, you always sparkle. <laughs> like, I know how sometimes we feel like we lose our voice or our sparkle, but she told me that and it made me sad. It made me sad because you always sparkled to me and you continue to sparkle and you're a shining star. And I like to call you a supernova. You're a supernova of compassion to your clients. You're a supernova to your peers. And now you're a supernova as a Tucson Association of Realtors president. Um, so 16 years later, Diane, you invited me to do this. So I have to just ham this up because that's what we do. So I'm going to have to ask Chris to come up here because of our, our new rules. And we, uh, I'd like to first present Diane with this sash. <laughs> It's, uh, it's T.A.R. President, and it sparkles. So, Chris, if you would hang that on your beautiful wife. I certainly will. Um, I christen thee with the sparkly T.A.R. Presidential Sash. Wear it as you shield to uphold the strength and hard decisions you will have to make in this new T.A.R. Presidential position. Next, we have a virtual... We'll call it a crown slash halo, okay? They only sold happy birthday one, so I couldn't find it. <laughs> so we're gonna do it virtually. So with the crown that I'm virtually putting on your head, I just want you to remember with your board to keep your crown steady. When you wanna do a head roll and an eye roll, make sure that crown or that halo doesn't come off, or at least they don't know inside what you're, what you're dealing with. A queen always keeps her composure, as does the president of TAR. So, next, I'm not done, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> next, we have the sparkle pens. <laughs> Duly note they are packaged so that the germs will not transcend except to you, but there's many sparkles. <laughs> Sorry, Chris. <laughs> Where are those wipes when we need them? So, May these sparkly pens give you the confidence when you're making amendments, when you're writing contracts, when you're taking copious notes from your many board members, who, by the way, your group is amazing. You have a lot of talent. Um, I remember a lot of you. Um, and I hope that they help you to stay organized with your board of directors. Finally, I already gave you one, but I like to go big, so I bought you more sparkly masks. <laughs> so we just don't want you to ever lose your sparkle. So leave one in your car, one in your purse, one in you know, one in the house. Uh, may you wear these sparkly masks to shield the words that you really want to say. <laughs> but you remember your crown and your sash and your sparkly pens and keep your halo crown level. And, and just remember, this, this sparkly shield is only for the good 
positive words that are going to come out of encouragement through your mouth. Also, it'll keep you safe from COVID. All right. So finally, around the room, um, I had a bunch of sparkly cookies made. And they don't compare to those really cool fans, those fans and the chocolate hearts, but we got you sparkly cookies. And they're just a little sweet reminder of all of your accomplishments. The door, there's a cookie door for all the many doors that you open for your clients. Um, one with your name, Diane, for all the people that said, Diane is my real realtor, she's my agent, and they're proud, and they send you so many referrals. The one that says that you are the TAR president. I mean, freeze it forever. Like in a year, maybe cut it like a wedding cake or something. <laughs> I don't know, right? Um, and then, of course, the congratulatory cookie. So. I want to just congratulate you on your tenacity through the last 16 years to get where you are right now, girl. You are amazing. I am so proud of you. You are an inspiration to me. I know it's going to be an epic year under your leadership. I know that you're going to do great things. You can always call on me, okay? Um, Everybody hear that? Yep. yep. <laughs> I'll write a check for them. Just, well, whatever. <laughs> I'm really surprised nobody hits me up more. But anyways, uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, um, and watch you to continue to sparkle on, girlfriend. So now I guess we have to do some special swearing in. Okay, so get your pretty little mug up here. Get your, yeah, you don't want to put your sash on? No, I do. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys have to make her wear it, wear it at events and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Every Zoom meeting. <laughs> wait, do we? Wait. wait, wait, give her a pen with the, with the, with the diamond on it. Anyways, all right. Okay. So. I'll do it here, okay. It says, uh, Nikki, please come up to the stage. Okay. <laughs> uh, Diane Marazzoni of Coldwell Banker Realty. Will you please join me on the stage? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think it's time to look at stuff. Oh, okay. Uh, please raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to administer the office, office of the president of the Tucson Association of Realtors? to the best of your ability in conformity with the bylaws and policies of your board, to represent the best interests of, Air of the Arizona real estate community and the members of this association, and to be governed by the principles of honesty, ethics, justice, fairness, integrity, and sparkle. Mm -hmm. If you so subscribe, please affirm by saying, I do. I do. You may lower your hand. I think I'm done. Oh, no! By the authority conferred upon me, I declare you duly installed as the 2021 president of the Tucson Association of Realtors! <laughs> you may have the mic. <laughs> and your husband will pin you. He's going to pin me. That was awesome. Oh yeah, because we, we know each other. <laughs> okay, this one's gonna go right above. Okay. Right above. There you go. Congratulations. I'm not going to cry, I promise. <laughs> okay, maybe I won't promise, but anyway. I did write a few things because I have no memory, because I'm over 50. That's just the way it is. 
Good evening, my fellow realtors, affiliates, my friends, my family, out there in Facebook land, my mom and my dad, my brother, hopefully both my boys, my aunts and uncles, everybody that my dad sent emails to today, which was really cool. Hopefully you're all out there watching. Hi, Ryan. Okay. As much as I would love to have all of your faces here today with us, we just can't do that. We live in uncertain times and we need to be continue, continue to be resilient, safe, and aware. What a year this has been. I am honored to not only follow in the footsteps of admirable agents who have filled the president's seat, but I am humbled by our membership for allowing me the opportunity to take the seat at the head of the table and do what I can to lead. I would like to personally thank Mr. Billy Morka for the guidance, assistance, and patience that he's offered me through this ever-changing year. And Billy, I'll take good care of the car. I also want to thank Nikki for her kind words and for, of course, getting me started in real estate back in 2004 with Distinctive Homes, Windermere Distinctive Homes and Land. Can't believe that was in 04. I want to give a huge thank you to Jim Bowman, I know he's out there too, so is Greg Holman, for welcoming me, me into the Couple Banker family back in December of 2009. I want to thank Christine and Lisa for answering all of my silly questions, all of them, and of course Randy Rogers for always believing in me. I also want to recognize the hard work of this year's president, Sue Carton of MLS, and of course Steve Redman of the Charitable Foundation. All of you have shown me kindness, and for that, I'm eternally grateful. I was raised right here in Tucson. I moved to Phoenix. I moved from Phoenix to the Old Pueblo when I was a child. I have two grown boys of my own, Ryan and Jason. And as many of you know, I just celebrated two years with the most amazing man out there, my high school sweetheart, Chris. For three and a half years before I got into real estate, I worked for a developer. I learned what it takes to run a construction department. I learned what it takes to put start packs together, how to work with vendors and contractors. I learned how, how to, what it takes to build a house from the ground up. I, re I learned how important each step was, no step being more important than the one prior to. They were just different. I realized in 04 that I wanted to become a realtor. I wanted to, be, I wanted to work with people face to face. I felt that that was where I could do my best work. And for the past 16 or so years, I have enjoyed every experience, every challenge, and every educational moment. I want our membership to know that I am here for you. No question is silly and no lofty suggestion. 2020 has had many challenges. It has provided us all the necessity to evolve and change the way that we do business. It has transformed how we interact, how we socialize and communicate. But what hasn't changed is our value as realtors. While we may have disruptors in our industry, I believe that the expertise, personalization, and thoroughness a realtor offers can never be replaced. While I'm only president for one year, and as just as others before me, I would like to make as much of a difference as I can. We need to highlight the value that we as realtors bring to the table. We need to remind the public why they need a realtor on their side. We need to remind other realtors why it's important to be ethical, professional, and kind. I also see an opportunity to really engage and educate our membership that their ideas, their thoughts, and their experiences are important. Our membership needs to understand that the association values their opinions. We cannot stress enough the importance, the role, they can have in shaping the future of not only our association, but our industry itself. Volunteering isn't easy, but it's the right thing to do. I see so many opportunities for all of us to collaborate and work together. I look forward to working with the MLS president 20, in 2021, David Dines, and of course, Denise King with the Charitable Foundation. The Tucson Association of Realtors is turning 100 years young next year. Can you believe that? We've been around for 100 years. That is monumental. 
and with well, well over 6,500 members, we hope to continue that momentum and hopefully we will be able to end our year with a celebration to include all of us together. When I was faced with the largest challenge of my life, getting sober, I realized that I couldn't do it on my own. I had to lean on the people around me, my husband, my son Ryan, and especially my sponsor. I learned through that first year that I was stronger with them than I was without them. And that is why I have chosen Stronger Together as my platform. While we are not sure what 2021 will bring us as far as gatherings or traveling or events, what we do know is that we, we, we will need to adapt and meet any challenge that comes our way. I will do my best to be there to meet every to meet each development with an open mind and a grateful heart. I challenge all of you to do the same because we are stronger together. Thank you. Thank you, Diane. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you, Billy. Thank you, Denise. Caring hands. 99 years of caring hands. We've had quite a bit go into this organization. I think it's, you heard tonight, the caring hands are gonna continue as we kick off the next century of this organization. I'm excited about that. I'm honored to be your CEO. I couldn't do it without all of you, Stronger Together is a really appropriate uh, phrase as we look forward. Um, as we look back at this last year, you know, we, we've endured a pandemic. We've endured, <coughs> excuse me, we've endured so much. It's pretty clear we can navigate just about anything as we go forward. Uh, so thank you, Billy, for your leadership this last year. Thank you, Sue Carton, for the leadership of the MLS. Thank you, Steve Redmond, for the leadership of the Charitable Foundation. Uh, Denise, David Dines, and <laughs> Diane, Sparkly, I was trying to come up with something sparkly and I was struggling with that, but Sparkly Queen is perfect. Uh, it's going to be a really great year. We look forward to it. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining us on Facebook Live uh, and accepting that we do need to social distance, yet we still do uh, the important things of this association. Enjoy. Enjoy the rest of your evening.